Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. On Roku, in the sports section, the Vanity Code is Dwyer Boxing News, one word. On iTunes, same thing. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I have a political channel here on YouTube, uh, just a current events channel really, where I'm talking about legal cases and things like that. It's Esquire 777. But I thought I should put this video here on my gambling account. Right? One of the biggest stories in recent memory has broken and the press is pretty quiet about it. This story is not getting the traction it should get. For people who gamble on financial markets and you know my philosophy it's all a gamble right within the last week UBS has acknowledged that they engaged in gold and silver market manipulation and they've agreed to pay a multi-billion dollar fine now understand what that means it means that the price of gold will likely rise against the value of government-backed currencies, right? Alan Greenspan, the former chairman of the Federal Reserve, talked about how in five years he expects gold to increase in value, right? I'm just here to tell you if there's one takeaway you get from this video, it's that you should trust governments less than you trust markets, right? What this gold manipulation says is that the market was rigged, that government-backed securities have been overvalued versus precious metals. Now that's a major insight because, let me pivot here, I consider Bitcoin to be digital gold. Right, understand, Bitcoin has a limited supply just like gold. It's a currency just like gold. Right, I understand many people will disagree. They'll say that with gold it has a natural use, right? You can actually have gold and make gold chains and make, you know, gold bars or whatever. Right, but just understand that like gold, Bitcoin is not a government issued currency. It has a market value of its own. Right, that's independent of what, in a free market, of what local government officials are doing. Right, so just like there's a finite amount of gold, there's a finite amount of certain cryptocurrencies, right? Not all cryptocurrencies. Be careful. Some of these cryptocurrencies, just like the U.S. Mint, can just continue to print right their currency. You want to stay away from those. But for the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, and your assumption should be that I'm invested in what I name. Right? Bitcoin. Dark coin. Right? Bitcoin dark. These have a finite number of units. There's only going to be so many of these currencies ever minted, right? In my opinion, you need to reduce your exposure to government-backed currencies because this UBS story is the tip-off that they're overvalued. If you're looking for alternative mediums of value, you need to look at precious metals, gold and silver, Right, you can't go by their historical prices over at least the last two years because those markets were depressed. They were rigged. That's what we're learning now. Understand, UBS is just the tip of the iceberg. The financial pundits who've been getting ridiculed for talking about how gold was undervalued, people like Peter Schiff, it turns out they were right. Right? Understand the world's upside down right now. 
right? So you need to look at that story. You need to see how this story compounds itself. Today it's UBS. Tomorrow it could be a host of other financial institutions. If you reach the conclusion that the manipulation, the suppression of gold and silver prices was widespread, then I believe you need to get out of government-backed securities, excuse me, government-backed currencies, like the U.S. dollar, for example, and you need to put at least a portion of your wealth into things like precious metals and limited supply cryptocurrencies. Right? Gold could well take off from here. We're in a new digital online world. Limited supply cryptocurrencies could well take off from here. Right? What I don't see in this modern world with greater information are people believing in government-backed currencies and believing the stories they're hearing from politicians. Right? If UBS is owning up to rigging the gold market, why hasn't your local government been all over this story from day one? Right? It's simply because when you have welfare states and when you have politicians who want to give out candy to get votes, they don't want a real gold market. They don't want their local currencies plunging in value. Right? There's a quiet conspiracy right among those printing currency to make sure that their currency has the illusion of value let me point out sadly the degree of the illusion in recent years has increased dramatically pay close attention to this UBS gold manipulation story pay close attention to the prices of precious metals going forward pay close attention to the price of limited supply crypto currencies let me hear from you leave your comments for me here online visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and as I like to say right it's all a gamble if you were betting on sports and you were to find out that the game you're betting on is rigged you would know that you never really had a chance well that's how it is for people betting right now in the financial markets right because we're finding out repeatedly that the game there is rigged right gambling on financial markets to me is not much different than gambling on sports Right, but let's just say right now it looks to me like sports are less corrupt. In any event, take a look at precious metals, take a look at limited supply cryptocurrencies. Let me hear from you if there are developments in this story that you feel need to be broadcast, more known. I hope you leave that information in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.